Hey everybody, welcome back to the Old Swedes Farm. It's Rich. Going to do a breed overview on the Sapphire Splash. Here's a couple good examples of uh, the breed. Beautiful red comb and wattle. Um, they're a, a medium-sized bird, probably six-pound range. Uh, pretty kind of square on the shoulder. Um, their plumage is really different. Uh, there's no two birds that are the same. You can see this one, uh, you know, is almost full white. This one's got a little bit of gray around the shoulder. And let's come over here. This girl, this is one of the most beautiful birds, in my opinion. See that, that gray and black mixed in? Just gorgeous. Um, as I said, about six pounds. We've only had hens. We've never had uh, any roosters. Um, they are good layers. They're, they're in the, uh, what the book says, about 290 birds, or 290 eggs per year. And I would concur with that, uh, just watching them uh, over time. They're in the nest box five to six times a week. And let's see if I can catch up to these girls. They are, uh, they're in the nest box a lot. Um, good layers. I would say that they have very good attitude. These are girls that are very independent. Um, yet, if they want a little attention, they'll come over and say hi. Um, for us in Minnesota, they're a great bird. Cold and uh, heat tolerant. Um, so they're going to be laying year round for us, which has been great. Um, and they do stick to that five to six times a week in the nest box. So that 290 is probably a good, a good number. The, uh, they're not the first ones in the box in the morning. I've noticed they kind of uh, get that second, like they take the second shift. Um, they want to get in there, let, let some of the other girls uh, lay first, then they're going to jump in second, and uh, they all kind of line up and get in the boxes at the same time. So um, these are not ones that are going to be um, picking on others, um, getting naughty. Uh, if there's a naughty side to them, it is that they are so independent. Um, they're out foraging all the time, they're out exploring, uh, free-ranging, they're out in the woods. Um, if there were ever girls that were out in the snow during the winter, it was these girls. Um, we had one that really liked being out in the snow and walking around. Um, let me see what else. So they're not broody. These girls, I've yet to see any of them go broody. Um, just gorgeous birds. Easy going, uh, not top of the order, uh, pecking order, not bottom of the pecking order. Just right in the middle. Um, good, good girl. So um, this would be the perfect hen for if you've got small children, grandchildren, um, you know, ones that, uh, you know, you want to have a, a gentle uh, hen. So the Sapphire Splash, good layer, cold and heat tolerant, good size, great with people, independent, um, and just beautiful birds with all that uh, plumage. Um, if you're thinking of adding something new to your flock, you might want to consider the Sapphire Splash. Thanks for watching, everybody.